Imam Ahmed was beaten and tortured quite you know, significantly in his life. Just like a lot of the great Imams and Shuyus, they go to prison, they with difficult, rough lives, they're constantly targeted. So Imam Ahmed, there was a ruler during his time that targeted Imam Ahmed because of his influence. And so Imam Ahmed was thrown out onto the road in front of a bakery store. And he slept and was left there for many, many days. The baker saw this poor man and said, you know what? If you don't have a place to stay, come and sleep in my bakery shop. So Imam Ahmed slept. And the man gave him food and so on. Imam Ahmed noticed something about this baker. Every single day, this man is always making du'as, kneading the, kneading the flour, doing everything, putting it on the fire pit or what have you. And just, astaghfirullah, la ilaha illa. Imam Ahmed's watching all of this. So one day, Imam Ahmed asks him, why do you do that? Why do you make so much du'a and dhikr? The baker says, I do it for Allah, but I also do it because my dream for the past 23 years was to meet the great Imam Ahmed. So I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow me to meet him before I meet Allah. And Imam Ahmed starts crying right in front of him. And he says, Ahmed has come to you and Allah has answered your du'as. So the baker looks at him and says, are you Imam Ahmed? He says, yes, I am Imam Ahmed. That is just one of endless stories of how Allah answers the du'a. 23 years, not 23 minutes, 23 years. And look, Allah sent Imam Ahmed right to his front door in his bakery shop. And he's taking care of this man and he has no idea who's with him.